Okay, welcome back to Physics 3740 at the University of Utah, Introduction to Relativity and Quantum Mechanics. This uh, is Lecture 12, where we're going to uh, begin our discussion of the quantization of light. Um, we usually, or classically, um, we uh, thought of light as a wave, and we often talk about light as a wave, um, which means that it has some continu continuous properties that vary continuously over space and time. And um, back uh, at the turn of the um, 20th century, people started to explore uh, the idea that maybe a photon, um, I mean, maybe light was, con was consisted of particles, or at least in some uh, situations can, can behave uh, as if it consists of particles and we call those photons now and we've been talking about you know kind of throughout this course already we've been talking about light and sometimes we call it light and sometimes we call it photons so we already have this idea in our head but I just want to point out that back um, before when quantum mechanics and special relativity were being developed this was not at all the case so um, let's ex kind of explore the situation um, back in the early part of the 20th century and um, sort of work from there. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is um, something called Compton scattering. And I'm starting with this because we've been discussing scattering in the last couple lectures. So we've been, uh, that is, we've been discussing collisions and decays. And Compton scattering is just a special case of a collision um, that involves photons. So. Um, let's first remember um, that we have this energy momentum invariant uh, for a particle of mass m. So we derive to this energy momentum invariant. This is just the magnitude of the of a form of the form momentum Okay, that's the magnitude of the form momentum in the general magnitude of the form momentum for a particle that has um, total energy E and three momentum P, okay? And again, if we, we can equate that to um, uh, the particle, the re if we transform to the rest frame of the particle and we calculate that invariant, we just get m squared c, c to the fourth, okay? And so um, this is the, this is this quantity, m squared c to the fourth, is invariant for a particular particle, no matter what it's speed because speeds are relative. So um, if we just think about photons or light, we, we now consider photons, we, we, I mean we can consider photons as particles of light but with no mass. Um, and so what we what we see is that for, for photons this term goes to zero which implies that the energy squared minus p squared c squared is equal to zero. So the magnitude of the form momentum for a photon is zero. Now what we're going to explore right now in Compton scattering is is the idea that just because the magnitude of the form momentum is zero it doesn't mean that the photon carries no energy or no momentum. It's just that the energy and the momentum exactly cancel each other in the form momentum, so in the in the invariant, and so um, there was a beautiful experiment done in um, in nineteen in the nineteen twenties, um, nineteen twenty three, I believe, by Compton, that basically demonstrated that photons have both energy and momentum, and we're going to um, explore uh, briefly that uh, experiment now, at least the theory behind that experiment. 